Man be man is back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh my gosh, the man got messed up. This is a five out of freaking five. It is beat making time. Next week is E3 week. My album comes out next week. I have the leopard. Oh, look at that, my God. This is your point. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy, Dash the True and Fun. Oh! <laughs> Back at it with another Pokemon Unite Comment to the Gameplay video for you guys. And let me give you guys two disclaimers before we jump into the mix of this video. So, if you're wondering what that noise is in the background, that's actually my auto ice maker. It runs automatically. And right when I start recording, it decides to run. And I do not want to cut it off because I do need ice for my water. Because I do live stream on T Rich, T Rich, you know, you know, you know what that is, T W I T C H. I call it T Rich because you know how YouTube is, they petty. But yeah, I live stream on twitch.com slash true underscore inferno, and I need an ice maker so I can, you know, stay hydrated because I've been losing my voice as of late. So you know, I got the all the ice maker instead of me going all the way upstairs to the kitchen to get ice and all that stuff. It's literally right behind me. So. There's that. That's the first thing. The second thing is, you probably wonder why this video is so late. Well, there's two reasons. One, I wanted to get the facts straight before I do this video because this is a big deal right here. And two, there's other stuff that's just been coming up in my other channel with news and stuff like that. Uh, I'm referring to True and Fun of Pokemon Go Adventures here on YouTube. They announced Go Fest this Wednesday. Well, we were allowed to announce Go Fest this Wednesday, so I've been new about it. So we, I dropped that news on Wednesday, and then more news came out about other stuff. So yeah, I've been kind of busy and kind of put this in the back button in combination with the fact that I wanted to do more research on this story that I learned about on Wednesday. And I feel confident enough to break it to you guys. So for those of you who don't know, the deal involving Activision, Blizzard, and Microsoft, which is what $68.7 billion has been blocked by the UK's, the United Kingdom's CMA. And, and, and you're wondering what that is? The CMA, and that's not the Country Music Awards, or that's not community, what is it? Communication Media Arts High School. That's my high school, by the way. But it's actually the Competition and Markets Authority. So there's one in UK. I'm assuming there's one in America, and they probably one all over the world, as far as I know. I have no idea. After, and then this is from TheVerge.com, by the way. So check this out. After months of an, uh, analyzing 3 million Microsoft and Activision documents and more than 2,100 emails from the public, the CMA in the UK has concluded that the deal could alter the, and I'm quoting this part here, alter the future of the fast growing cloud gaming market, leading to reduced innovation and less choice for UK gamers over the years to come, end quote. Continuing on with the article, Microsoft says it will appeal to the decision, but it's a blow to Microsoft's hopes of acquiring Activision Blizzard. It will likely prevent the company closing its giant deal if the appeal is unsuccessful, obviously. Now, before I continue with the article, this deal was supposed to go down literally slightly over a month from now, like sometime in June of this year. So this has this deal has been made public and been in the works for over a year. And the world where it's supposed to, you know, come to a close, you know, in terms of the deal being done this June. So that's like literally a little over a month from now. Continuing with the article, and I'm quoting here. You know, Microsoft has a strong position in cloud gaming services and the evidence available to the CMA show that Microsoft will find it commercially beneficial to make Activision games exclusive to its own cloud gaming service, says the CMA. The CMA estimates that Microsoft controls around 60 to 70 percent of, in Anchor, by the way, uh, 60 to 70 percent of global cloud gaming services and that adding control over Call of Duty, Overwatch and World of Warcraft will give Microsoft a significant advantage in the cloud gaming market. Microsoft had attempted to address concerns around cloud gaming in leading up to in the lead up to this decision. The software giant signed cloud gaming deals with Boosteroids, Uber, uh, Ubitus, and NVIDIA to allow Xbox PC games to run on these rival cloud gaming services. <clears throat> See, look, already my voice is already messing up. <laughs> After striking a similar deal with Nintendo in December this past year, I'm assuming. These 10-year deals also include access to Call of Duty and other Activision Blizzard games if the deal is approved by regulators. The CMA says it has examined the deals, but that they contain, and I'm quoting here, a number of significant shortcomings, end quote, in cloud gaming services. 
The CMA says the deal are too limited in scope. That part of Crota is real. With models that meant gamers had to acquire the rights to play games, quote in here, by purchasing them on certain stores or subscribing to certain services, end quote. These deals did include agreements for Microsoft providing access to these games and in rival multi-game subscription services or the ability for rivals, quoting, to offer versions of games on PC operating systems other than Windows, end quote. The CMA also noted that the deal would, that's a lot of quoting here, here's one right here, standardize the terms and conditions on which games are available, end quote, instead of open competition in the cloud gaming market. And here we go again with the quoting. We concluded that without the merger, Activision games would become available on cloud gaming services in the UK in the near future, end quote. The CMA initially sided with Microsoft over Call of Duty on PlayStation concerns last month, noted that it would be costly for Microsoft to withhold the popular franchise from PlayStation. Okay, there you go. That left some cloud gaming concerns on the table, but the regulator says it considered whether the benefits of having Activision's content on Game Pass outweighed the concerns around cloud gaming in the UK. And here we go with another quote here. Microsoft engaged constructively with us to try and address these issues, and we are grateful for that, but their proposal were not effective to remedy our concerns and will have replaced competition with ineffective regulation in a new and dynamic market, end quote, says Martin Coleman, who is the chair of the independent panel for of experts conducting the investigation. Now, I'm not going to read, you know, what he said, all that stuff. I'm not going to say what CEO, uh, Activision Bliss, CEO Bobby Kotick, we, we, we don't stand him here. So, yeah, there you go with that. And I'm going for the article. It's a bit of a read, to be honest. I'm not going to read everything here. But basically, the CMA in the UK, United Kingdom, are concerned because of cloud gaming. And to me, I think that reason is blasphemous. It's asinine. And the reason why for that is because, to put it simply, cloud gaming isn't, you know, relevant yet. It's not really relevant yet. So... And that's my opinion because not everybody around the world have that. You need really good internet connection to take part in cloud gaming. And there's and the main issue with cloud gaming is the companies that are running these services via cloud gaming, what happens if they go down? All that money that the customer put into that company would go to race. So it's like there's a lot of questions regarding cloud gaming. And it's at a point where people groan. When you see a game coming out, but it says, oh, it's only available via cloud gaming. For example, Kingdom Hearts on the Switch. Everybody was excited, like, oh, yeah, Kingdom Hearts on the Switch, great. But then when it says cl via cloud gaming, nope, right again on PC. And that's, you know, in this scenario like that, yeah, that's the best choice of action for that one. But this is a bogus reaction. Uh, I see, I could, you know, the thing is, Microsoft obviously is appealing this. Will the appeal go through? It's going to be very interesting. And again, I talked about this before. I talked about it. You know, I'm going to say it again here. I'm in the middle regarding whether or not this deal should go through or not. Because, again, if this deal goes through, that pretty much, you know, sign is a sign that everything is going to be available on one platform. So instead of paying $10 over there at Microsoft, instead of $10 going to Sony, $10 going to Activision Blizzard, $10 going to EA, $10 going to Square Enix, Ten dollars going to Capcom, and this is all per month. So this all adds up for you, the paying customers, to pay all this stuff per month. So you're looking at ninety dollars a month on video game streaming services. But if everything was at one spot, it won't cost that much. Now, if everything on one spot, will that one spot raise the price because they're the monopoly? Yeah, I mean, look at Comcast once upon a time. So yeah, they're gonna raise the prices instead of saying, "Oh, you got to pay ten dollars a month to play." To get game pads on the on your Xbox only, we're gonna make it 20. And if you got the $15 deal where you can get on the PC and Xbox, we're gonna make that 30. You know, they may do that if they become a monopoly, whatever the case may be. But it's still better than paying $90 towards nine different uh streaming services. So keep that in mind as well. But at the same time, the competitive aspect, you know, we still kind of want that. We still want PlayStation to remain relevant. And things of that nature. And, and, you know, they will because they still got the likes of God, uh, what is it, God of War and Uncharted and, oh gosh, The Last of Us. They like to push The Last of Us. 
Sly Cooper, and they got their first party games, and they got other deals that are on Sony. I mean, look, like they prevent games from doing any business with Microsoft. Street Fighter, Cap, well, that's Capcom, uh, Square Enix, like Final Fantasies and stuff like that. So, whether this deal go through or not, Sony should be fine, in my opinion. Now, I'm not saying, am I approved, you know, am I for the deal? I could care less either way, but we'll see, see what happens over the next few weeks. Because, again, this deal was put to go down in June. And, again, that's a little over a month from now. So, there you go with that. I'm going to call it a wrap. So, with all that said, y'all know what this is. This is by New Jack Aspie, a.k.a. New Stephen A. Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah.